Hey everybody, what's going on? Just back here with another video. So I was looking um, just across YouTube a little bit and I found Brian Lilly. He had this article from a couple days ago. And it's basically saying Trudeau in fighting form to take on Pierre Polyev. And it caught my eye. So I, let's just uh, have a listen to what uh, Brian Lilly has to say here. This could be very interesting. Uh, but before we do that, I just want to also remind you that if you do want to stay updated on recent Canadian political issues, uh, please uh, just hit the like and subscribe button. It also really helps grow the channel and hit the notification bell as well. That way you get a notification every single time uh, one of my videos gets uploaded. That way you don't have to search for it. You can just click on the notification and enjoy the content. And also let me know what you think in the comment section as well about whatever um, opinions I have or Brian Lilly has or anyone else for that matter. And uh, we'll get to this video right now, and then we'll talk about it after, like usual. Trudeau walking in. He's got, he's got a determined look on his face. Yeah, he's a, he's a drama teacher. He's a high school drama teacher. This is called overacting. My Justin Trudeau's in fighting form, and Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives better watch out. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist for the Toronto Sun. For the past couple of days, ever since I put forward this idea that Trudeau looks like he's in fighting form, I've had people reaching out to me and saying, Lilly, What's wrong with you? Have you lost your mind? Look, I'm not saying Justin Trudeau is set to win an election. If one were held today, he'd be wiped out. And yes, I see the polls. He's not doing well in them. But Justin Trudeau clearly wants to fight Pierre Polyev. He wants to have a contest and he wants to beat Polyev. He believes he can. That's why he's sticking around. All this speculation about will Trudeau stay or go, I've been saying from the beginning, Trudeau's going to stick around. He wants a battle royale with Polyev, and they're going to have one. It's going to be quite the street fight. Now, Polyev is between 15 and 20 points ahead of Trudeau's liberals when you look at the polls right now. And that would be a massive majority if it happened. But the election is 14 months away, and that is a long time in politics. My three rules, voters are fickle, polls can change, campaigns matter. And so the next 14 months is going to matter incredibly for both the Liberals and the Conservatives. The Liberals want to try and turn things around. The Conservatives want to try and keep their lead, their edge, and make sure that they win this election in October 2025. Now, some of you think it's all sewn up, but let me remind you, go back 14 months. Where were they in the polls? Well, they were a lot closer than they are now, single-digit lead for the Conservatives. You go back 15, 16 months, the parties were tied. Things can change very quickly. And so, so, yeah, I mean, he makes a really good point, right? I mean, it wasn't that long ago that the the polls were basically tied. I think Pierre Poilier was up by a couple points, but it, it's been really close. And it's only been really in the, in the last year and a half to two years that, you know, Pierre Poilier started gaining so many more votes because people are sick and tired of the crime, the inflation, mass immigration, rents going crazy, the housing market has a huge bubble, there's not enough houses, yada, yada, yada. Now, I don't think there's enough time for Trudeau to undo that. But one thing I, I do wonder is if he'll have some other little cheap little tricks that he has up his sleeve. And I've mentioned this before, but he could potentially bring up some sort of, you know, UBI to essentially pay for or buy out voters, right? Vote for me and I'll give you a couple grand a month or whatever it is. <clears throat> now, that would be a very bad idea to vote for. But like Brian Lilly said, voters are fickle and you never know if something like that may you know, swing well, maybe seven to eight peop uh, percent of, uh, of those voters that are voting conservative right now back over to the liberals, which would be a big deal, right? So if something like that happens, or maybe there's some sort of scandal that, whether it's real or made up or whatever, but Pierre Polyev does not have this in the bag yet. He does have to be very careful. Um, we are about to get back into question period once we get into September, and Trudeau has, generally speaking, just been absolutely embarrassed when they've had those uh, question period sessions. But that being said, that doesn't mean that Pierre Polyev can just take his foot off the gas, right? Like he's got to keep going. He's got to keep exposing Trudeau. And he's got to make sure that, you know, whatever he says, he's got to keep, he's got to watch out what he says, how he says it. People are very strange. They will flip on someone on a dime even just because they say the wrong thing, even though the country is being destroyed. So... You, know, you do have to be careful if you're Pierre Paul, yeah, for sure. So the Conservatives can't be complacent. They can't be sloppy. If they want to win this election, and I think it's imperative for the health of the country, that Justin Trudeau and his team are removed from office. But the 
the Conservatives have to do a very good job of communicating to Canadians what's wrong with Trudeau's agenda and policies, and how he has hurt the country, why there needs to be change, and why Polyev is the change. He's done a good job of that so far. He's proven that he can do that, but there's a long way to go. This is not a race that's over yet. This is not a sprint. It's a marathon. And Trudeau showed up in Halifax showing that he is ready to fight and ready to take Polyev on when the House of Commons resumes on September 16th. So buckle up, everyone. It's going to be one hell of a ride. And I'll be here to give you commentary and reporting all the way through. Drop a comment. Yeah, so that's the thing, right? So we still got about, you know, two weeks, just over two weeks until the question period comes back. But you know that Justin Trudeau is going to be thinking about some sort of sneaky way to kind of get voters back on his side. We all know he doesn't care about Canada or Canadians, but he is going to pretend like he is. Are people who voted for liberals in 2021 who are now voting conservative? And again, let me know in the comment section if you're one of these people. If you've left the Liberal Party, have you left for good? Or have you only left temporarily because Trudeau isn't doing a good job or you just want to see him out or you just want to see some policy changes? Because if the case is, is that there are people who have left the Liberal Party, but they're willing to return, that could be bad news for Pierre Polyev. Now, in my opinion, I think a lot of people like myself who would consider voting Liberal maybe 10 years ago, um, I can't imagine what would have to happen for me to vote Liberal ever again, to be honest with you. I mean... Yeah, I mean, the forever is a long time, but I'm just saying they've done such a horrible job or really a great job screwing up this country. I would just never trust them again, at least for a very long time. So, I mean, I'm not sure really what it would take for those supporters to go back over to the liberals. But then again, there's still 20 percent or so of people who are going to vote liberals. And that is, you know, a little bit scary. And to think that, you know, if he could essentially just have a one or two good Paul or not even good policies, but just policies that'll manipulate people like a universal basic income program he could gain a lot of support just from that alone but anyway let me know let me know what you guys think personally i think it's over i think that even though pierre polyev has to keep going i think he's going to he's no man's fool but there are people who are like no it's not over yet it's not over yet which camp are you on are you on my team where you've decided no you know what it's over pierre polyev will be our next prime minister or do you think that there's a chance that Justin Trudeau can make a, a historic comeback here? I always enjoy uh, reading those comments. And please, again, to please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel as it helps it grow a lot. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.